Come up and move them out. It's time to move to your brand new house. You've had your fun right here. But now it's time to... Hello everybody and welcome to another Cobalt Steel Reviews. In the last episode, we took a look at the third episode of Strawberry Shortcake, which was a downgrade in narrative quality from the first two specials due to a poorly constructed narrative and more filler. Today, we will look at the fourth episode of Strawberry Shortcake, Housewarming Surprise. Is this an improvement over the last few episodes? We shall see. Let the review of Housewarming Surprise commence. Strawberry Shortcake is moving houses and gets her friends to help out, while also showing her friends the other friend she met during her world travels via a slideshow, also expressing how she misses them. During the moving, the friends get the idea to invite the international friends over for a surprise party, with the gifts being various recipes they can make. Unfortunately, a spy crow gives this information to Pie Man and Grapes, who decide to follow Strawberry in order to steal the recipes given by the friends, with the intention of getting famous from them. Strawberry arrives at the new house, but is later surprised by the arrival of her old friends as well as the international friends, who all brought their recipes for the party. However, Pie Man is nearby. The friends decide to play hide and seek in order to explore the house, but during the game, Pie Man invades to both steal the recipes and eat all the food. Strawberry catches him, but he escapes with the recipe box that also held international friends Lem and Ada and Strawberry fails to stop him. Friends decide to chase after him in order to get the recipes and lemon Ada, managing to barely talk to spy crows into helping them out, but this causes the recipe box to be put in a relatively unsafe position. The two parties trying to get the recipe box, but Strawberry ultimately gets it when the box was too heavy for Sour Grapes' pet to carry. Pyman and Grapes later fly away with the spy crows. Later, the friends have their party, and that's the story of Housewarming Surprise. There are improvements to the storytelling, as mine is the intro song, although it does show some progress happening. There is much less filler, the pacing is smoother, and the story construction is much better than the previous specials. The conflict is a bit more generic than previous specials, but much better than them anyway. It's a get rich quick conflict, where the two seemingly want the recipes to become famous. This is pretty much a conflict for the next two specials. These two want to find ways to become rich and or famous. Overall, the story is a stark improvement over the first three specials, but it does end up falling into generic territory in some areas. The crew from the first three specials return, and this special tries but sadly fails to make use of all the characters and their personalities, which is a common problem with shows and productions that try to use a lot of characters, especially under a small amount of time. Strawberry is back, and while still a cheerful girl, this special and later specials emphasizes her more assertive and leader-like side by showing her taking the initiative in getting the recipes and actually managing to get the crows to work for her. The other characters, despite having to share a 22 minute runtime, do try to show something, with Lime being someone portrayed as an airhead and Blueberry having a more motherly personality, but again, the runtime doesn't help them. The villains remain the same, except they turn to villainous entrepreneurs, though they become somewhat generic cartoon villains, but it's better than them just stealing tricycles for the sake of being mean to Strawberry. As for new characters, we have international friends Mint Tulip, Crepe Suzette, Almond Tea, Café Au Lait, and Lemon Ada, but aside from just looking like they're from other countries and displaying some slightly stereotypical behaviors, they don't really have much personality otherwise, aside from Lemon Ada stating the scenario and finishing each other's sentences at times. Overall, the villains are somewhat generic and the writers are still struggling to make proper use of all their characters, but it is somewhat better than the previous specials thanks to the improved but somewhat generic villains and Strawberry's improved character. Different animation studios handle the production and, like usual, the animation is different to reflect that, although the change was for the better. Compared to the previous specials, the animation is smoother and cleaner, with the characters looking less wrinkly than the other three specials. The animation is also a bit bouncier and cartoonier than the previous specials, especially with the Pie Man. 
The backgrounds also look more detailed and fuller compared to the previous specials, which often look washed out in some areas. The whole cartoon also generally looks softer and more feminine, which is appropriate for the type of cartoon this series was. In terms of voice acting, while it's not bad, there is some inconsistency with some of the voices. Sun, Strawberry, and Pie Man are okay, but characters like Blueberry and Raspberry sound rather different. I guess it's excusable considering the switches of production company, but it's just a little weird. In terms of music, it's still pretty good, retaining the styles of the first few specials, although it is generally a bit bouncier than before. However, the intro song seems to be played twice and a bit longer than it should be. Also, not a complaint, but Strawberry's singing voice is different, sounding a bit more mature than before. Overall, the production quality is greatly improved, but there are a few quirks in the music and voice acting, but not enough to ruin the special. This special is the first special to be produced by Nelvana and Man Productions, which is why there is a change in almost everything from almost all the voice actors to producers to the animation. Nelvana and Man would also handle the specials from here on out. Overall, Housewarming Surprise gets a 7 out of 10. The quality of the overall production and narrative have jumped tremendously, but there are a few quirks in the aesthetics and the story does have some generic elements. However, the oversized amount of characters causes almost everyone but Strawberry to not display their characters properly. Unfortunate, since some of them do not appear again, like Huckleberry, seemingly. Anyway, next time, we will take a look at the fifth episode of Strawberry Shortcake, The Baby Without a Name. So until then, see you all later.